country balls alternative future of your world. Basically, this is what the future is going to look like according to country balls and the country ball community, which I'm really curious because I feel like, you know, we're pretty geopolitically educated. I don't know if I'm going to agree with everything here, but it should be entertaining. By the way, please go subscribe. This was an amazing video. Afghanistan. Hey, America, United States, what can I do for you? You know how I spent the last 20 years training and preparing for any kind of surprise invasion? Yes. Why do you ask? You don't mean to tell me, oh, we're getting kicked out. Okay. Well, okay, yeah. United States, just blank silence. You're on your own, buddy. Okay, so we're leaving off with the U.S. leaving um, Afghanistan. Basically, the uh, no-no T people taking over. I don't think I can say that word. You didn't even bother trying, did you? Nope, says Afghanistan. Love their eyeballs. I think uh, that pretty much represents how they're feeling. Love to see like the some of the states that are angry. A lot of places that are angry, some just confused, like Libya, or they're just really shocked about what's going down. Well, says the US, that was a complete waste. <laughs> yeah, you think, USA? <laughs> Glad it took us 20 years to figure that out. Atreya, Saudi Arabia, what do you want, says the Saudi Arabians. Do you mind if I join the Arab League? Oh, so obviously we already have some factions that are actually real. Aishan, Arab League, SEO, NATO. Do you mind? Oh, uh, yes. I think I'd make a great addition. Really? Because it seems like you just want our protection, says Saudi Arabia. Well, what makes you say that? <laughs> I mean, you're currently fighting a war right now. Uh, still, you aren't... Uh, wrong when you say you would make a good fit. I mean, geographically speaking, they are right there. Atreya, yay! Ah, so the SEO Alliance is the Shanghai Organization, the Shanghai Cooperation Organization. It was established by China and Russia in 2001, and it has a ton of countries in it. Pretty much India and China alone that pulls in over two billion. So we now have the Atreya, uh, uh, the Atreya, Atreya joining the Arab League. Tanzania be like, guys, call me crazy, but I think I just found a new resource. Huh? Says Angola. Angola? Call me crazier. I just got a sudden sense of deja vu. If you dig down enough, you should be able to find a titanium-like substance. While it's similar, it's much lighter. So is this foreshadowing that there will likely be some sort of resource in the future that'll completely flip the world upside down. I, I feel like a lot of people predict that. I think we can safely say that's probably the case. I mean, just look at the mined resources we used to go after 100 years ago versus now. And what's always so fascinating about this thought experiment is that any place in the world could technically have this undisclosed resource. Like, we really don't know. But Africa is probably likely to have it, whatever it is, just because it's a giant continent and they already have a lot of other resources. I was able to find some as well, says Zambia. I was, uh, it only weighs around half as much as regular steel. Okay, so that's exactly what this is going to do. Do you guys know what that means, says Tanzania? If we are in the first to find this new mineral, then it will be worth a lot to the other international powers. It could potentially replace stainless steel and we're the only ones to have it. Yeah, my deja vu is definitely kicking in hard here. Uh, listen, I'm currently searching for whatever you two are talking about, but I suggest we keep this down low. Yeah, as soon as you tell the others, uh, they're going to pretty much, I mean, maybe they'll do it diplomatically. Maybe they'll do it uh, militarily. Come on, Tanzania, you should know. If either the United States or China find out about this, they'll be all over us. Yeah, they, they will immediately jump in. We need to wait and pick a side. He's right. These two could tear us to shreds if they find out. Yes, pretty much. So a lot of places aren't going to tell us. But who should we talk to, America or China? I say you two wait and decide, says Angola. In the meantime, I'm going digging. So it's this part of Africa, specifically the southern part, that has this special resource that weighs half as much as stainless steel. It's time, says Russia. Uh, they're going to war with Ukraine. Okay, so we're getting a little bit of like what is actually happening right now versus... We're going to start, as obviously the video goes on, go more and more into the future. Uh, Kiev has fallen. I suggest you put down weapons, Ukraine. So they're pretty much going to divide the country on the Danube, or maybe they're going to completely um, annex the whole thing. Oh, I guess so. So they, they took some of it. Is this not going to be a vassal state to Russia, though? Oh, nope. They just completely annexed it, I guess. Is that just it? No, there's definitely a vassal state. This is going to pretty much function as a puppet, maybe similar to Belarus. But of course, Russia has their own stuff right here. UK is still smiling, though. Uh, I like how... 
Ireland's all mad. This isn't good. If Ukraine got eaten alive, then that means I'll be next on the dinner plate, says Finland. Norway, oh, why the food? And, uh, whatever. Uh, it was the only thing I could think of. Scandinavians, let's not argue, says Sweden. I say it's time we implement what we were discussing earlier. Sweden, this seems kind of silly. Are you sure this is going to work, says Norway? Oh, I'm sure. I'm guessing we're going to form a Nordic Union. It's time, brothers. Time we unite for the prosperity of Scandinavia. Oh, it's is Denmark not really going to join? It is just Scandinavia, interestingly. So in this scenario, NATO doesn't join Finland. This, I could see this playing out if for some reason Finland wasn't allowed to join NATO, which we all kind of thought that was going to be a scenario for a little bit. North Korea, it seems like America has done nothing about the war with Ukraine. Now it's time for them to strike. Okay, so we're basically watching a uh, World War III already take place, although it isn't really a world war. These are still skirmishes happening around the globe. So North Korea is finally breaking the truce. I don't even think they have a Truce. They're still technically at war, but they're now finally engaging in conflict again with South Korea. Japan is literally sleeping. I mean, it depends if the U.S. gets involved. If the U.S. doesn't get involved, then yeah, North Korea will probably roll over uh, South Korea, especially with the aid of China as well. It's actually always shocking to me to see how powerful the North Korean military is for being such a small country. They really punch way above their weight. But then again, they kind of have to do that. I mean, the only thing that's keeping them alive is their military. North Korea spends about 15.9 9% a year on their national budget to defense. For reference, the U.S. spends 12% and we're pretty high. South Korea be like, what? How on earth is that commie beating me? Uh, you really need to channel more Samsung strats, maybe the K-pop. This is what true uh, happens when you underestimate the power of the true Korea. North Korea, true Korea, South Korea. Korea, false Korea. They only take part socialist Vatican. What? I've got a lot of questions. Hey, that's my line. Uh, shut up, says North Korea. You're not in this series. I, <laughs> okay, yes. I mean, I wish they were. I have a lot of questions. I might be able to perform a counterattack. However, I'll need help. America asks South Korea. America is not getting involved. This is definitely a world, I think, where America goes back into, like, maybe an isolationist policy, which is how we functioned for a while there. Obviously, we haven't been doing that as of the recent couple decades. Please, just leave me be, says the U.S. So maybe we have, like, American citizens that become super is isolationists, don't want to get involved with anything, which is totally plausible. Uh, let me help you out instead, says Japan. Something has been off with America lately. Now, Japan is a very strong economy, uh, and they've been slowly rebuilding their military back up, obviously not back to their imperial days, but... Uh, they've been getting back there, so just Japan and South Korea versus only North Korea, that would definitely be fascinating. I think China's going to step in here because China's not going to want South Korea and Japan on their borders. No, this can't be. Is this just going to be a replica of the Korean War? Uh, the slimy capitalist at the outskirts of Pyongyang, you've left me no choice. Glory to true Korea. Are oh, you going to nuke somebody? I bet you they nuke somebody. That's the truth. Yes, they did. They nuked, interestingly, Busan. And I, uh, which Japanese city is that? Was it Hiroshima again? Come on, you can't do that again. That's just uncalled for. Okay, I'm surprised they didn't nuke Seoul, though. Maybe they, they wanted to keep Seoul. Did you just, oh my, Busan is in complete ru uh, ruins. There's more where that came from. Apparently, we believe that North Korea only has 40 nukes. I mean, 40 nukes is still a lot, but they might not be able to deliver it to the U.S. just yet. They can certainly deliver those nukes to South Korea and Japan, though. Uh, now it's time to launch my entire arsenal and blow you to pieces. Uh, entire arsenal. So that will eradicate. What? What happened to my nukes? Does China step in? I was able to disable them with my spy network, says Japan. You've gone way too far. Japan basically went nani and teleported behind them. Clearly the animes helped them with that. When I'm done with you, there will be nothing left of you. So even though there's some nuclear fallout of uh, some of these powers, it seems supporting North Korea was a bad idea, says China. The only choice I have left is to invade Korea myself. Oh, now that is a really interesting alternative future where if North Korea is collapsing, China just takes it for themselves. I know that China and North Korea have a very kind of difficult relationship. China would rather keep North Korea than have a unified South Korea peninsula. But in a scenario like this, maybe they would just eat what they can. They'd probably like that more. So now they're going to invade uh, because they just they just want territory. That is, I gotta admit already, love this alternative history, alternative future, I guess I should say. I rarely see situations play out like this where, you know, South Korea or North Korea for that matter doesn't get the entire peninsula. I could see this happening. Uh, Japan, of course. Wait, so does the war continue, though? No, no, okay, it's just gonna remain like that for now. Interesting. Okay, well, uh, Japan and South Korea are not doing 
that well. I mean, they did just get nuked, so I don't know how that is. Uh, okay, so these two again here around Georgia. Really? So this is going to happen. Now I have to deal with Russian nonsense. Georgia's dealing with this again. He's not the only one you should be worried about, says Armenia, a uh, Russian ally. So, oh, you've got to be kidding me. Does Azerbaijan check? Yeah, don't worry, brother. Uh, I will help you in your struggles. But is this, is that really going to be enough, Azerbaijan and Georgia, to take on Russia? Uh, I mean, Armenia is one thing. Weren't those two literally just in a war? Yes, Syria. Uh, Syria, you really shouldn't be talking here, says Lebanon. All right, we have another war in the Caucasus. Now, this is also a very interesting regional war. If Russia doesn't step in, though, uh, yeah, but I think Russia would step in. At least, I mean, they would certainly be uh, giving over weapons. Our beautiful lands, says Armenia. A unified Caucasus mountain region with just Georgia and maybe a puppet state to Armenia? That didn't go as planned, says Russia. Uh, seems like this was NATO's doing again. This is interesting. I don't know if NATO would step in after completely annexing Ukraine. Maybe they would just need some, like, a, like a break. Even after America promised they are still causing trouble. Oh, do those two nations now join NATO? I, I wonder. Like how Mongolia is separated. Kind of, they're not a part of the purple faction. Scandinavia, your success as a country is very impressive, which is why I would like to join your union. I don't know why Denmark didn't join in the first place. Why would you want to join, says Scandinavia? Well, you're using the flag of a previous union. True, true. I like the gold color. Okay, says Scand Scandinavia, Iceland. I'd also like to join. Now, if Denmark joins, that also means Greenland has to join, since Greenland is also kind of a puppet. Uh, very well, both of you are welcome. I mean, might as well make it. You can't call yourself Scandinavia without Denmark, and now they have a proper Nordic union, so I like that. Back to Africa with their resources? N no, not necessarily. Ethiopia might have just switched sides. Finally, the bloody civil war is over. Um, I couldn't have done it without your support, says Ethiopia to Saudi Arabia. It was my pleasure. Is Ethiopia going to join the Arab League? I, I don't think so. I understand you're mostly Christian, but you're always welcome to be an observer position in our alliance. Oh, that's, that's interesting. Don't worry. I'm fine on my own. Okay. I, I like that. I agree with that. I'm not saying I like that. I have no opinion about it, actually. But I think Ethiopia would uh, just kind of do their own thing. I don't think they would join the Arab League, depending on what happens in their civil war. I guess it's possible something changes internally and then they would join the arab league but in this case no is india also going to be you know india is technically always somewhat at risk of maybe a civil war there's so many different languages and cultures there who are you they uh ask oh, we've indian rebels the state has failed our beliefs we need to uh we need to enact something hindu oh goodness how could this get any worse a Bangla a bangladesh and maybe pakistan oh no just more rebels communist indian rebels Man, I do not even want to consider a Indian Civil War. That would be insane. I mean, an Indian Civil War would pretty much go like the way Chinese Civil Wars go. And that's just like millions disappeared. There's just so many people that live here. That would be absolute chaos uh, in India. That would probably spill over to maybe Pakistan and Bangladesh as well. I swear it wasn't me. I'll even send you military aid. You better, says India. They are a part of the Shanghai Cooperation Organization. So China's going to help them try to uh, stop the rebels. This is perfect time to get revenge. Of course, Pakistan's going to get revenge. Maybe Bangladesh won't because they have a better relationship. Uh, so... Is oh, oh Pakistan's actually going to join. Now it's my time to destroy the colonial borders set on us to reunite uh, these people. So Afghanistan's going to attack Pakistan? Maybe? I guess so. Uh-oh, says Pakistan. So they're in multiple... Oh, even the rebellions got a little bit of Pakistan because I guess the Pakistani government just fell apart. I can't continue to fight it anymore. Communist Indian Rebellion, why should you uh, keep, keep you alive? Because if you don't, I'm more than happy to take over for India, says China. I don't know if the communist Indians... Now, wait a second. Would the communist Indians like a communist China? Probably not. But they do share a similar ideology. That doesn't necessarily mean anything. There's very... There's a lot of different forms of communism. Uh, and uh, as we saw from history, a communist China and a communist Soviet Union couldn't figure out a way to work together too much, too. So this is kind of a common theme here. So India is in complete chaos. We still don't have a world war just yet. I wish we had years, but I also like that we don't necessarily have any years. Like we, do, It's kind of like a undisclosed how long this is taking. Because once you throw years in there, it does become a little bit more unrealistic. Like maybe this all just happened in 2024. Like I don't think this is going to happen all within the last year. But we can imagine maybe this is going by like decades into the, 20, the 21st century. Really? I'll hold a referendum, says Uzbekistan. We've got to finally get a Stanistan nation where all these Stan nations 
come together, become, so this, we have a new independent nation here. So Uzbekistan just split into two. Uh, Syria, your war has been going on for a decade now, says Russia. Uh, we need to find a solution. Uh, yeah, I know. If I had, if I had one, I'd put it to use. Luckily, I have a, an idea. Russia's been dealing with so much, now they're dealing with Syria. If you promise Kurds independence, then they may cooperate with you and help with rebels. That's insane. You suggest I work with the Kurds? Yeah, Syria's not gonna want to do that. A lot of other nations are not gonna want to do that. Because once they open up that can of worms, uh, then other cans of worms will be opened in other surrounding neighboring nations. Kurdistan, I will uh, offer you independence. I beg your pardon. Yeah, see, Turkey's not going to like that. Kurdish rebels, wait, really? Uh, why don't you say that sooner? It's time to end the war. Okay, so we do have the Kurds now in the northeast. And now we have a more stable Syria. Uh, this isn't the last you'll see of me, says the Syrian rebels. So yeah, that yellow Kurdish nation is probably... We're going to see. We're going to see who backs them up as well. That's the other question, because Kurd, the Turkey, Turks are going to want to get rid of them. We worked really well as an ally. I think we should create an alliance. Asian NATO, that's always been a big suggestion. We might finally have an Asian NATO. But again, an alliance, says Japan? Can they put aside our, their differences? I'll consider that thought. In the meantime, I need to talk to someone. Who would they join? Definitely. Taiwan, maybe the Philippines, geographically speaking. Uh, that's the only three I can think of. South Korea, Japan, and Taiwan. Not the greatest of Asian NATO, but what are you going to do? You're, you kind of don't really have a choice. Okay, let's see what's going on in the USA. What kind of... Oh, I love that we have the actual triangle for the Bermuda Triangle. Accurate for the country ball universe. All right, America, what's the issue? You've been like this for ta far too long. What's going on. This isn't like you, says Japan. They're just, they're just isolationists. The American public, I failed everyone, says Japan. This is their anime moment. My efforts to make the world a better place has ended horribly, especially after losing Ukraine. Perhaps I shouldn't intervene at all and let the world dictate themselves. Uh, that's when I made a promise to not intervene to foreign affairs and focus only on myself. I don't believe a word you just said, says Japan. We need you, America. The world needs you. Like, how, like Canada's just smiling back there. Russia is doing whatever they want. A communist India now exists. If you leave all allies behind, you're only creating a power vacuum for the other uh, powers to take. Uh, your allies believe in you. I believe in you. This really is an anime moment. So I say you should start believing in yourself. <laughs> I'll think about it. I need time, Japan. Okay, this... Believe it or not, I think, is not a super far-fetched thing. I mean, there's still huge movements going on right now that Japan needs to leave all foreign affairs. Like, we need to stop intervening. And that's a really popular um, opinion that a lot of the public still has. So maybe it just finally, you know, the, the pot begins to finally boil over and we elect somebody that's super isolationist. I don't think this is absolutely insane. And then and that, that, then that does allow China, Russia, a lot of other powers to begin to make different moves because then they don't have to worry about that i mean nato would still be a big threat keeping people in check in europe but yeah outside of that if america isn't willing to bring things to uh, balance then i must do it myself korea you mentioned an alliance and again japan's been working on that uh, military they also have a very strong economy the third largest in the world although they've been stagnating they have depopulation issues uh, still, they'd be a formidable force with South Korea, Belarus. This democratic government, the people have created, uh, the citizens are rising up. This is the beginning of the end for me. Oh, Belarus is having a little bit. There have been, obviously, a lot of revolts out of the Belarusian people. Maybe they can switch over, but Russia is not going to want that to happen. Oh, there's literally a civil war taking place, but of course Russia is going to support the official government side. Not yet, comrade. Um, let me help you with your struggles. And again, without worrying about the Ukraine war, please do, says Belarus. Uh, yeah, I think that would. I think it's safe to say. I'm not sure if NATO would really get behind the rebels in a civil war like that. Thank you, Russia. That was greatly appreciated. Uh, anything to help a fellow ally. Yeah, Russia's just going to put that down. I suggest you join the Shanghai Cooperation Agreement uh, organization. And, of course, Belarus will now do that. So this the uh, SCO continues to get bigger and bigger. All the purple nations are a part of that. Portugal, Spain, please help me. Portugal is already struggling. Portugal, what's wrong, replies Spain. It's, it's a... <coughs> What? Uh, what? Finally, it's been too long. The Portuguese Empire? Now it's time to conquer my old righteous territories. Um, Portugal is struggling. I don't know if they would go back to this sort of thing. Maybe they would. 
start to attack some of their former uh, colonies in Africa and islands, possibly. I do love that old Portuguese flag. I think it's pretty cool, the blue and white with the kind of dominoes they have. It looks like dominoes to me. This will do for now, says the Portuguese Empire. So they're no longer, they're just doing their own thing, which again, Portugal does struggle. Is the constitution ready yet, says Kenya. Yep, we're just waiting on Tanzania's uh, approval, says Uganda. Um, I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't think I want to be a part of this union, says Tanzania. Uh, Uganda, wait, why not? Is Rwanda also gonna join? Sorry, I've just got a lot going on. Do they also find, like, rare earth minerals or something like that? Leave him be, Uganda. He doesn't have to be a part of this. Uh, when they're ready to join, they will. Okay, so Rwanda, Rwanda is willing to join. Rwanda, possibly the Singapore of Africa. Uh, my fellow brothers, it is time for the event we have been waiting for decades, our unification. Ooh, look at that, with South Sudan and Kenya. That's an interesting little unification in Africa. Speaking of unifications in Africa, I wonder if the United States of Africa, that's always been a theory for several decades, if that will form eventually in this alternative history or alternative future. Japan is right, says the US. Are they finally going to wake up after hibernation? I mean, I think that's ultimately what would happen. Maybe there would be a period of isolationists, but or isolationism, but would it last? It never does. It literally never does. They always wake up out of it, so I'm sure that would- uh, What am I even doing, says the US. It's time for me to stop sulking. Uh, it's time for me to take initiative. So they- I can now see their eyes behind their- um, So they were momentarily not even in NATO. Uh, has all the paperwork been signed, says Japan to South Korea? Yep, everything's ready. This looks like maybe Mongolia is going to join that too. Let, then let's make this alliance public. Uh, breaking news, the Pacific Treaty Organization, this really is an Asian NATO, has been announced with South Korea and Japan. Uh, who else as the founding members, members? But who else joins Japan? I've thought about what you've said and all. <laughs> and I think our alliances should partner together. And it was only a matter of time. Of course, it's good to have you back, America. Now, Taiwan, of course, will join that. Now, uh, I think I have this uh, have one, says the U.S. Wait, are you going to rethink of a, a name or are you asking someone? The stock market has been hijacked, says China. It's going to crash at this rate. So far, I have to admit, this all this stuff... Not insane. Like, I, usually with these alternative futures or these futuristic predictions, I can very quickly, like in early on, be like, I don't even know if I want to continue watching this because this is getting so crazy. A lot of this stuff isn't super, like, far-fetched. I can see logically. I, and I like that also, we're just making, like, some predictions. Like, the, the Civil War in Belarus. Like, yeah, there was a Civil War in Belarus, and it got crushed. What? Says the U.S. I don't know what you're talking about. China is dealing with depopulation my stock market. Did you hijack the Shanghai stock? Okay, so maybe we will see a World War III now. What's a stock market? <laughs> Arg, dang it, America. Interesting. I thought America promised no international intervention. Uh, would you like economic aid, said Russia. I don't know how much of economic aid Russia can really provide to China. I mean, I guess they could try. Apparently Russia and Spain, the country of Spain, have a very similar uh, economy. Uh, okay, so they're, they're growing closer in ties. Paraguay, Paraguay. Oh no, my people are rising up. Venezuela has been struggling for a long time time in South America. Now the US would certainly aid anything um, out of Venezuela, any sort of revolt. Again, not super far-fetched. Who would really come and help the, you know, the government of, the current government of Venezuela? Maybe Russia and China, but it's so far away, I don't really think they'd care. This isn't good, says the US. Um, if I do nothing, then these rebels, oh. Oh, well that's interesting. The U.S. don't want the rebels to win? I would think that they would, but what type of rebels are these? I, I don't know. Maybe this is a different future where Venezuela becomes closer. Their ties are... The U.S. comes closer. You're joking, says Colombia. Didn't you promise neutrality a while ago, says... Uh, they say, I've since realized the world needs me, Colombia. Uh, now, are you in this or not? Certainly, Colombia would probably have to be the ones to do it. There's already skirmishes that happen along the border of Colombia and Venezuela. And here they go, pushing in. So, do they just want to form their own thing? Do they not trust that rebel faction? Oh, they just gave that to Colombia. And then they formed a new state. Did America just... America, I appreciate your trust. Is there any way I can return this favor, says Colombia. Yes, I was wishing we could start a joint operation to help rebuild Venezuela. Do you uh, mind helping me? Uh, of course. Brazil certainly not going to like this. Brazil being maybe the only power in the Americas that kind of rivals uh, the U.S., also, they are in BRICS, so maybe they step in. The Romanians, um, they've gained power. The Aru? Who is that? 
Oh, that's a completely... Greater Romania. Ah, uh, yes. I feel the power running through... Okay, I do have to admit, just to take a moment, I did just say that things have been relatively realistic. The, the Greater Portugal Empire thing coming back? Mm. Uh, all right. Uh, and, that, and maybe this part as well. Romania just randomly becoming... I'm not really sure, but then again, who knows what the future holds in like a hundred years. So Russia, or Romania literally had to be invaded. Country balls don't have veins, uh, no Europe, uh, whatever. What is inside country balls? I, I'm pretty sure they're like a gusher. There's just, there's just like a ball of blood. At least when they get cut in half, that's usually what tends to be on the inside. Also, speaking of Europe, says the US, Scandinavia, some of my alliance members have joined your little union. Uh, do you mind if you join NATO to keep those areas safe? Of course! Yeah, what happens if Scandinavia does reform? Because some members, well, currently as of 2023, Finland, the only member of Scandinavia, this Scandinavia, that isn't in NATO is Sweden. So it's just the Swedish territory that would have to join NATO. I'm pretty sure everything else would have to join not super far-fetched, could see that. Brazil, I can't believe what's happening right now. Is everyone just going to let America tread on us like this? How does Brazil feel about Venezuela? I'm not sure about those uh, politics. Well, he is America, says Argentina. That's a besides the point. He's going to make this continent his if we uh, don't... I mean, he, I mean, he's kind of been trying to do that for the last, like, 200 years. But I suggest a defensive alliance. Uh, several countries, we are. Interesting. A So this is going to be a new anti-American alliance named the... P uh, Pacto of Defenso Latin America has been founded. Chile is on the U.S.'s side. Of course, I mean, Colombia did just help us with Venezuela. They'd probably still be on our side. Peru, Bolivia, Paraguay. What happened to the uh, Rio Pact, says the U.S.? Screw the Rio Pact. You interfered. Your inter uh, interference. I mean, ties with the U.S. and Brazil have, you know, struggled. So maybe this is possible. This isn't going to be easy, says the U.S. Well, when uh, has my job ever been easy? Uh, an anti-American alliance happening, I mean, I, maybe, maybe, I don't even know if the CIA would let that happen, you know, CIA loves to interfere in everything Latin America, my beautiful lands, they took my lands away, says Armenia, who cuts in, does it, does Russia go in to save Armenia, no more, I won't allow any more of this, they respond, uh, it's time I got tougher, but how, who, who saves them, is there gonna be a rebellion? I don't even know. Angola, Zambia, Tanzania, Tanzania. I have something that we're both you should be interested in. Is it about that metal? Uh, yes, I've made mock weapons using the samples I've currently mined out. So these are like super light, um, like weapons. This metal could completely change modern warfare to say the least. Are you really sure about that, says Tanzania. I've literally created a tank that, um, now who, what country still has presence in these places? You know, France still has a, a huge presence in a lot of, you know, former French colonial territory. For these places, I'm not really sure. I mean, the British maybe wouldn't pay attention too much. We have former Portuguese territory, which, you know, I'm not even sure if, with an, uh, yeah, I, I don't really know if they'd be paying attention. Oh God, how are we supposed to keep this a secret? I don't know either, says Tanzania. Uh, we So maybe it is possible for them to develop these kind of weapons without anyone really paying attention too much for like 100, 200 years. Not to say that these nations couldn't also um, be watched over by France. I mean, they could probably secretly do it. Uh, Somalia, but it's more likely that maybe France discovers them. Um, been in a civil war, says Somalia. Yes, they've got a lot of pirates. So it looks like Somalia is likely to join the Arab League as well. Would be easy uh, if you helped me pretty vulnerable to collapsing. Uh, Somalia, you better not tell me you're about to collapse. Yeah, Saudi Arabia might aid just like they... Oh, they collapsed, I think. God dang it, Somalia. Just side note, love that Paraguay just randomly said Paraguay then didn't refuse to elaborate further. Punt land. Hi, Saudi Arabia. Is this really how, how Somalia is going to divide itself? Somalia could divide itself in several different ways. They have been... It's been rough for that country. Is Saudi Arabia going to have to step in? Oh, Puntland just joined the Arab League. Uh, we now have Morocco. I'm tired of these disputes, of course, going after this Western Sahara. There are going to be some places in Europe that are not going to be happy about this. Uh, so they are now going to step in. No one knows anything. These This country is always portrayed as having no data on most maps. I don't take no for an answer. Morocco finally stepping in to end this, which, I mean, Morocco has been wanting to do that for quite some time. Algeria, this is crazy, Morocco. Pull out of Western Sahara now. I'm surprised it's actually not Europe that's stepping in. I'm going to war with you too, says Mauritania. Uh, if you want to get me out, then take me, says Morocco. Uh, oh boy. Okay, so there's going to be a little African war. 
I'm imagining a whole lot of 1980s Toyota trucks. At least that's what happened with uh, Chad. Uh, Toyota trucks, very good for uh, desert warfare in the Sahara Desert, if you didn't know. Now nah, I got this, says Morocco. Oh, interesting that the Portuguese Empire wanted to aid Morocco. Historical rivals, historical rivals, but who knows? Everything changes, obviously. I mean, hey, if Austria-Hungary and the Ottomans can be allies during World War One. Also, France and the British during World War One. Remember, those were, those were crazy alliances back then. Did anything can happen in the future? I don't have this. Portugal, uh, already on it, says the Portuguese Empire. I don't really know how much the Portuguese Empire can really help. Also, how does Spain feel about this whole thing? As this is literally playing out right next to all of them. Uh, apparently, Portugal is strong enough to push out the Algerians and Mauritanians. Is that how you say people from Mauritania? Is it Mauritanians? I can't believe this really happened. I surrender, says Algeria. Ooh. Now, does this all go to Morocco? Or is this a, some sort of a union? A Portuguese-Moroccan union? I don't really know. Anyways, Algeria, Morocco. What the hell just happened? Yeah, this is probably because of the Arab League. This is kind of a in the sphere of influence with uh, these Saudis here. They're definitely not going to like what's going on. He's been trying to absorb him uh, in for years. He cried and whined to Portugal, please help me, please, ho oh, Algeria's Morocco, uh, uh, mocking Morocco, please do something about this, kick him out or something, says Algeria, Morocco, silence, I was just asserting my southern claims, that's all, that's, that, that is how it started, got it, says Saudi Arabia, Algeria, you're out of the Arab League, oh, ooh, just got kicked out of the fan club, no more, so there, does that light green just signify independence, but I thought we were, um, Arab League Brotherhoods. They do have historical alliances kind of going on, but maybe not anymore. Just got kicked out like that. Please, Chad, do something. Please, Chad, be Chad. The East African Federation. Yeah, so this has been, this has, has actually been talked about a lot. I think I'll hold a flag competition to change it. See, this is the cool thing about this sort of like alternative future. We have little things like this that make all the difference. Flag competition. We need that. I could see a flag competition happening. Cameroon, these god dang separatists. Man, so many rebels. They've gotten a lot stronger now. This is going to become, there definitely would be many, I mean, if uh, one place is going to have a lot of rebellions, it probably would be Africa. Again, this was the alternative future of your world in Country Bowl. Definitely go subscribe to Kiev Mapping for more. I really enjoyed this, and I really enjoyed this analyzation as well. I love this. I mean, for the most part, you know, you have to spice things up a little bit with the Portuguese Empire that kept things fun and exciting. But I also liked that I could see all of this stuff relatively happening in the next, like, 100 years. And big thanks to the patrons. Drew, I'm your dad, back with the milk. Look outside. John Denver. Luxembourg lover. I can't sleep without Drew's voice. Aaron F. Amateur Archaeology. Fat. Carmel Norwal. S. Frederick Tiblin. Good ol' Ryan. Inquisitor Jack Zarius. Jack annoying friend. Let me know is ten. best Robert Ryan. E. The Pie. The Sebby, if you hear this, the I love you. And why am I doing this?